Do you need a set of torches that are portable? Today I'm reviewing Ambro Control's Oxy Set. This right here is a little portable mobile brazing system and I've got a tank holder, I've got a couple tanks, a couple regulators, some hoses, a couple different torch tips, and I'm going to be reviewing this set of oxyacetylene torches. I got the tank holder, I got the little torch tip, got a couple different hoses, a blue and an orange. I like the fact that everything's labeled. Uh, these connections right here, you, can, you cannot put this connection over here or this connection over here. Uh, everything goes together nicely so you can't mess up the assembly. Uh, so I like that. I like the fact that it's labeled, it's color coded, the oxygen regulator is blue and the propane regulator is orange. And I've got some instructions which is really nice. So for putting this together, everything is self-explanatory and Ambro Controls sells this little kit here and then they also sell an oxygen tank so you can get an oxygen tank from them. Now the map gas tank, I got this from Tractor Supply. Today I'm going to be using Ambro Controls Oxy Set to braze the connections required to replace this outdoor coil here. This outdoor coil is less than a year old. This is the second time it'll be replaced. I'm going to show you where it's leaking. I'm going to have to take the top off. I got all the screws out, so we're ready to take it off. And I've got my vacuum pump, my scales, my refrigerant, and I've got my nitrogen right there. So let me show you where it's leaking. I'm going to take the top off, and then I'm going to show you how to use this set of torches. Pretty awesome. And it's super light. Got the top off. See that? It's leaking right here. You see that? This is less than a year old. And the connections that have to be brazed are this connection and then this connection. I was not even going to try to repair this because it is less than a year old. It's still under warranty and it was replaced less than a year ago because it was leaking. So it's under warranty. I'm not going to repair it. I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to get this old coil out of here. Cut the old connections. Get the old coal out of here. Goodbye. Now, I'm going to put the, the new coil in place after I get these pieces of pipe out of the way that I need out of the way. All right. Look at that cute little set of torches. Fits right inside the unit. Now, you want to screw both of these in. That way you open up the tanks and then we're going to open up the red first and then the blue. That is nice. Now we're just going to take this copper out of here. And this is five eight. Almost there. There we go. And then one more right here. I've already used it because the tip is black and I laid it on something and got something burned onto the tip here but I've used it a few times it works great for work, building my little refrigeration systems that I build because everything there is quarter inch and three eighths but it did great on the five eighths now I'm gonna replace the filter dryer so I got a towel that way I can wrap my liquid line service valve 
I've got a stick of solder and a new filter dryer. So, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ooh, look at that flame. Let's dial it back a little bit. Look at that. That looks beautiful. I'm going to take this connection loose first. Always replace your filter dryer when you're opening up the system. Always braze with nitrogen. Beautiful. Always wrap your valve. It doesn't take long to prepare it. And I like this set of torches because it's super light. It does the job. You can see it's got enough power. Keep a couple extra tanks on your service vehicle. That way you don't run out. Beautiful. Old filter dryer out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off while I get everything ready. Make sure you know which way the filter dryer should point. Remember, the condenser makes liquid and it sends it to the evaporator. And that evaporator makes vapor. You need to heat that up and push that in. This set of torches comes with a striker, but I like to use a lighter, so that's why I'm using the lighter. Beautiful. I'm just going to heat this up and make sure this is pushed in. There we go. That'll do it. Now, bend my piece of solder. That way I can get underneath. We're underneath. Go to the other side. Should be enough. Now, put my other piece of pipe in. Whoa. Come on now, buddy. Okay, I need to heat this up too. Put the other side. I need to heat up this connection here. That way I can slide it in. There we go. Now, I need to turn it the way that it's supposed to be positioned. That should do it right there. Now, oh crap. Right there, now I gotta get something to hold that. Beautiful. Filter dryer is raised in.
coils in place. Everything should line up. There's some rubber pieces in the bottom. The coil track fits right in there. All right. Whew. We can make the flame small, or we can make it big. Oh, it slipped out. The slipper. Stay on there. Whoops. All right. Excellent. Ugh. And there you have it. Ambro Controls makes a good oxy set. Everything looks good. I'm gonna nitrogen pressure test. Make sure I don't have any leaks. I'd say job well done. Go check out the Oxy set made by Ambro Controls. Link in the description for this product. It comes with a tip, a tank holder, some regulators, a couple different sizes of tip, and some check valves. Super easy to put together. Got the vacuum pump running. Got it all put back together. No leaks were found. Advantages and disadvantages of Ambro Controls Oxy set. Advantages, obvious, it's very light. I'm always looking for tools to make my job easier. And when you do a couple coil changes a day or you're doing a couple compressor change outs, you've already got a bunch of tools that are heavy like your nitrogen tank or your vacuum pump or your recovery machine, recovery tank. It's nice to have a set of torches that when you're carrying it, you're not loaded down as much as I would be with my regular turbo, turbo torch or my oxyacetylene torch. So I like that. Disadvantages, I don't really see any. You may have to carry a couple extra tanks with you because the tanks with this set are really small. You may run out of gas. But with my regular oxyacetylene torches, I always carry extra backup tanks anyways because I don't want to run out, especially if I'm far off on a job. I don't want to have to run all the way back to the shop to get a tank or run to Napa or wherever you get your tanks refilled at. I always carry a turbo torch in the service vehicle with me just in case I have to braze any larger pipe sizes like inch and an eighth. If you don't know anything about brazing copper and you want to learn, I've got a video on how to braze. I'll put that down in the description so that you can watch that video and learn how to braze copper and how to braze copper using nitrogen. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. Hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. If you want access to all my members only videos, click the join button, become a level three member, and you can have access to all my members only videos, like how to size ductwork, how to size equipment, how to price equipment, how much you should charge customers for service calls and parts and refrigerant, uh, sales training, geothermal training, uh, how to get new customers. If you're starting a business and you don't know how to get customers, I've got a method that will definitely help you. Within a month of doing that method, you will never have to ask for new customers because you'll have them beating down your door trying to get you to their house to be able to fix their air conditioner. So 
definitely check out the members only playlist. I've got a bunch of videos you may be interested in that can help you in your HVAC career. If you want more videos like this, go check out my playlist HVAC tips for technicians. I've got over 500 videos of being a real technician in the field that can maybe help you with your career and help you understand how to be a real technician. Hope you're healthy and I hope you're happy. You've been watching HVAC tips for technicians. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.